Hey, baby. Ma. Don't get your eyes out of your work, huh? What's going on here? It isn't that complicated. I do. Uh, it's just uh, dealing with an old case. Oh. Well, I got in the mood to cook, so I thought I'd bring over some food for you and little oh, Michael. You are the best mother. <laughs> I know. Thank you. What is it? Feedy five ways. Oh, you didn't? Yes, I did. You got uh, marinara in there. You got cannelloni. Sonny says that's Michael's favorite. Uh, sausage and peppers. All in containers. You can stick it right in the oven and freeze the leftovers. Left leftovers. We're not going to have any leftovers. You see how much that kid eats? Lulu goes to the store all the time, and we're constantly out of everything. <laughs> you and your cousins used to practically eat me out of house and home. I'd go through a freaking gallon of milk every two days. So, how is Michael? Yeah, it's not easy for him, but he's, he's holding up okay. Yeah, that's a lot for you taking him on. I'm proud of you. Oh, he's my brother. I would have stood up for him even if I wasn't the arrogant bastard who got him sent to prison in the first Stop place. Stop that. You just do the best that you can. And if that kid needs a good meal, you send him over to my apartment. Okay. Okay. I love you. About that, I thought that that uh, the car, car bomb business was closed. Yeah, so did I. They've ordered me to reopen it. Who ordered you? I, Mac just told me someone from higher up. So, not to put a damper on the conversation, but it looks like all the evidence points to Sonny. Um, I looked Sonny in the eye. I point blank asked him if he had anything to do with that, and he swore to me that he was innocent. Hmm. You're better. Hi. Hey. Thanks for getting here so quickly. Yeah, well, a woman like you calls with such a mysterious errand. My interest is piqued. What's going on? Take this note to Jason's penthouse. Wear black, look edgy and dangerous, and if you can get soaked with rain on the way over, even better. <laughs> oh, really? What do you want? Exactly what I just said. I'm giving you the perfect opportunity to meet Brenda Barrett. <laughs> the supermodel? Yeah. You're so her type, she'll be all over you. I'm flattered that you think so highly of me, Carly, but I'm not on the market. You'll change your mind after you meet Brenda. I'm telling you. Tell her that you like fast cars, that you like gunfights, that you're super rich. And if you let it slip that you used to be hot for me, I guarantee she'll be all over you. <laughs> Why is that? Because Brenda's always ready to take my man. Mike. I hate to disappoint, but there's no way I'm hitting on Brenda Barrett. OK, you don't have to stand in the rain. <laughs> That's good, because it's not raining outside. I'm still not doing it anyway. You don't want to pass up this opportunity. I'm with Olivia. And why are you so worried about Brenda anyway? I'm not worried about Brenda, you know? I'm trying to be nice, and you uh -huh. seem like the perfect welcome back to Port Charles present. Oh, well, thank you. But no thank you. And you can handle her yourself. Well, hey. what a pleasant surprise. Yeah. How you doing? All right, but uh, you may want to start keeping a closer eye on me. Oh. Well, it's my pleasure. You want to tell me why? <laughs> Carly over there is trying to set me up with a supermodel. I stopped by the station earlier to see Dante, and I think you may be getting a call from him yeah. later. He's on the car bomb case. I know. Well, I just thought I'd give you a heads up. Great. Thank you. It's not like the damn thing's going to get solved anyway. <sighs> Dante's still in denial that Sonny set the bomb in the first place. John. Sonny looked me in the eye, and he swore to me that he was innocent. You know what? Let's not even talk about it, okay? Sonny and I have entered into a truce, and whatever the cops find or don't find, well, that's their business. Hey, Jason, the hell was so working that I had to drop everything I was doing to come here? You tell me. Well, what happened to you? Do either of those fine fellows look familiar to you? Yeah. They're my guys. They're pretty low on the food chain, but why would they beat you up? That would be my question. I didn't send these guys after you. Well, if you didn't, who did? What does it say about your managerial skills if your own muscle roughs up your ostensible partner? I had no idea this was gonna happen. Look, when you loan out goons, shouldn't you at least know what they're being loaned out to do? You're damn right, I should ask more questions. Why didn't you? I, it was seemingly innocuous at the time, Ethan. It was a, a friend of a friend type situation. Right? You know how I do work for the Trujillos. And they were commissioned by some guy in Europe that calls himself the Balkan. And he was calling the shots? Again, I, I, it never occurred to me that it would end up on you. Well, technically, they were after information about my father. Luke, why? 
He's not back in town five minutes, and he's getting me beat to a pulp. Well, you're gonna have to take that up with him. My organization is out of it. I have no idea who this Balkan Joker is, and frankly, I don't care to find out. I'm just sorry that you got mixed up in it. No. A little hazard pay should uh, square things. <laughs> that could happen. Ma. 